Welcome to another episode of my E23 video blog. My name is Manuel Garibay and today I'm going to be installing the shift knob on my BMW E23. Okay, well, as most of you know, this shift knob just comes out by pulling out. There we go. And this leather trim, you just need to like, pry it out. There it comes. That's it. The only special tool that you're going to need is something like this, which is a tester, a wire tester. But hopefully, I'll do the hard work for you. So, uh, this end, you would need to find a ground somewhere to hook it to. And there we are. And then with this other end, screwdriver kind of thing looking, you're going to poke around some of the cables and see which cable is live. Let me uh, turn on the ignition key. That way we'll find a, a live cable. Looks like there's this wire connector down here so uh, I'm gonna try these cables first and then if I don't find any current on there then I'll go to this other harnesses here let's see I know that BMW goes a lot with uh, brown for for uh, uh, ground and let's see I see a red one here let's try it and see yep as you can see, lights up. Now let's try it with the switch off. Okay, yep, it's. Let's see, come on. Let's see. Perfect. And those two wires are exactly what I needed. Well, that's one way to do it. And probably the easiest way to just tap to this wire harness down here but the most common way that you'll be able to hardwire your uh, illuminated shift knob would be right here inside the uh, ashtray you would need to remove these four bolts And up here on this ashtray, there's a little light that it's activated with your light switch. So this option is a lot better. You tap into that little light to power up your illuminated shift knob. And when you turn on your instrument panel and dash lights, your shift knob is going to light up as well. Just finished removing all the screws and there you go see there's wires powering that light bulb and there's this wire harness here that you can either remove or just tap into it and right now we're gonna test and see which of the wires is the one that is positive more than likely it's going to be this one that I'm rotating which is gray and red and then the other one is a brown with white in BMW's mostly the brown wire is the negative wire so uh, we're gonna test it right now just to make sure I have my uh, my wire tester my wire current tester so let's uh, put it right here and as you can see I hooked it up to a piece of metal in the car most pieces of metals in the vehicle are grounded so you can touch any wire you want and it won't short circuit anything and see this brown one I'm touching it 
and it's negative so that's good Let, now if we touch this other wire the gray and red since my tester is already grounded it should be able to light up and you need to poke through the insulation so see there it goes now uh, let's turn off the light and see yeah I have the light switch turned off and uh, let me turn it on see there you go off perfect so that's how I want it my once I tap into those wires my illuminated shift knob will illuminate with the dashboard lights and the instrument panel okay I just tapped into the uh, into the wires going to the uh, ashtray light and as you can see here um, even the wires that came with the shifter are color matched the gray is for the positive and the brown is for the negative even though they're not the same kind of shade the same shade as the factory BMW ones it's pretty much uh, self-explanatory there so now we're gonna plug in the shifter and give it a try there have the shift knob and let's see perfect now it's time to route the wires under the center console there through back here and feed them through this hole and they should be coming out down here and install everything and we should be done Okay, right at the bottom of the ashtray, right here in the center, there's a little hole that you can feed the connector through. I just, not not this actual round one, but there's another one back there that you can feed it through. And I just took the connector out so I can plug it in because I, I don't want to be fighting under this plate here trying to get it connected so once I I'm gonna feed this one the same way bring it out connect it and then put it back under the plate there we go I just made the connection once it's everything is connected I'm just gonna feed it back under the plate and we'll be ready to go I just finished screwing back the the screws that go here in the and the ashtray and I'm pretty much done that is it here's my new shifter activated by the light switch well this is a shot of the instrument panel and the dashboard and my new shift knob in the dark watching uh, I hope you're enjoying all the videos I've been uploading lately and uh, please subscribe comment like and share my videos thank you very much we'll catch you on our next video